Prevention of exertional heat illness can take many forms. The wet bulb globe temperature, or WBGT, is used to estimate the magnitude of environmental factors and heat stress on humans. Factors including air temperature, humidity, wind speed, and visible and radiant heat such as sunlight are measured to determine WBGT. WBGT results, shown as a heat category, are used to determine fluid replacement, physical activity levels, work rest ratios, and clothing adjustments to minimize risk and maximize performance. Heat stress and dehydration can accumulate over several days. Fluid replacement and work rest guidelines consider the WBGT heat category, the level of work, required uniform, and other factors to sustain performance and prevent heat injuries. In certain situations, fluids required to replace sweating may actually exceed the body's ability to absorb the fluid. Significant heat acclimatization requires three to five days, while full acclimatization can take a week to two weeks. Acclimatization usually requires at least two hours per day of carefully supervised exercise in the heat with gradual increase in the exercise intensity. Even with the best prevention strategies, some service members will experience exertional heat illness. Science and medicine show that immediate treatment is critical. Early cooling leads to decreased morbidity and mortality. Heat stroke survival rates are directly related to the duration of the hyperthermia. Immediate treatment allows most service members to quickly recover and return to duty. The prognosis is much worse when early intervention is delayed and the internal core temperature remains above the critical threshold for any period of time. Unrecognized and untreated exertional heat stroke is often fatal. Promptly recognized and rapidly cooled patients with exertional heat stroke show markedly improved survival rates and reduced complications.